Hi friends, it's me again. I just wanted to show you a quick fun activity you could do at home with your um, counting and showing your numbers. Um, the numbers are tricky sometimes, but we're gonna pull back up our book. I know you guys have cards that you did yesterday with Mrs. Hines, so maybe you could take those out and do a similar game where you just guess one or take one out quickly and try to figure out what it is. But right now I'm gonna show you the book. I'm gonna randomly open up this book. <gasps> What number is that? Six. Oh my goodness, I love the number six. I'm gonna put this book down and I'm going to write the number six. Six. Now you can have your moms or your dads or someone write the number six or whatever number you're doing. But next to underneath that six, I'm going to draw a ladybug and I'm gonna teach you how to. So the first thing you need to do is draw what shape is a ladybug? Let's see if you could tell. What shape is that? A circle. So we're going to make a circle. Okay. And on that circle, he's got a little tiny head. It's kind of like a small circle. So I'm going to put a small circle right on top of my of my little of my big circle. Now ladybugs have circles on them. They have dots on them, just like this. But in between those dots, they have a line. So I'm going to make a line. Can you do that too? Uh-oh, my marker's not working. I use it a lot here. So I have my line. So first I drew a circle, then I drew a little circle on it, I made a line. Now I'm going to use this number six right here. See that number six? I'm going to use that and I'm going to make six dots on my ladybug. So ready? I'm gonna do one circle. Can you count them with me? Two circles, three circles, four circles, five circles, six circles. Just like that. Now I have a ladybug with six dots on him. So you could do this at home. Remember how we do this during circle time? We often have a follow the leader, right? Mrs. Hines or I draw something and you guys try to copy it too. So if you can do this at home, that'd be great. And what you could do is you can actually do it again if you wanna get another piece of paper. Um, you could do this on your chalkboards if you have one. I'm gonna do the number um, two. There we go. So I'm gonna make a big circle and a little circle my line down the middle, and then I'm going to do one and two. Now I have a ladybug with two circles on it. All right, I hope you enjoy this. Try to do it at home. Let us know how it goes.